Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Belief Stream Podcast. My name is Sally. In my channel, we will dive into the world of narcissism and its effects on our relationship and daily lives. In today's episode, I'll be talking about what silence does to the narcissist. But first, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more episodes on understanding and dealing with narcissism. So let's begin. Silence is a powerful tool when dealing with a narcissist. Narcissists are people with narcissistic personality disorder who have inflated sense of self-importance and deep need for validation and attention. The narcissists crave constant admiration and validation, and when they don't get it, they become agitated and uncomfortable. The narcissists are dependent on this validation to maintain their sense of self-worth and when it is taken away, they feel threatened and insecure. When you are silent, or when you practice grey rock, this can be an effective way to take away their power and control when you are dealing with the narcissist. By not reacting to their manipulative tactics, by not giving them the attention they crave, and by not validating their false sense of self, you can weaken their hold on you and the relationship. By not engaging in their behavior, you can take away their ability to control the situation and they left to deal with their own insecurities. When you first implement being silent as a strategy, the narcissist may become confused and try to fill the silence with more their own words or actions. The narcissist may try to provoke you into reacting or responding. But it is important to remain calm and collected. The narcissist may use gaslighting, manipulation or even threats to try to regain control of the situation. But it is important to stay firm in your decision by not engaging. The narcissist may try to make you feel guilty for not responding. And again, you need to remember that you are not responsible for the narcissist feeling and you're only responsible for your own, you have the right to set boundaries. As time goes on, the narcissist may begin to realize that their usual tactics aren't working with you anymore and that they're not getting the attention and validation that they crave from you. This can be difficult realization for the narcissist and may become angry and even aggressive. The narcissist may lash out and try to guilt trip you or even try to hurt you emotionally or even physically. It is very important to remember that the narcissist's behavior is not your own fault and that you have the right to set boundaries and to protect yourself from the narcissistic abuse. It is also important to be aware that being silent is different from the silent treatment that you receive from the narcissist as a punishment. Your being silent means you are not engaging in the manipulative behavior with the narcissist. This can lead the narcissist to be more aggressive towards you. However, you have to protect yourself. You can also silence a narcissist in a very effective way of communication by setting boundaries and knowing your self-worth. By not allowing the narcissist to treat you poorly, you are showing that you want to tolerate their behavior and that you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. It is a way also of communicating that you won't accept the narcissist's verbal or emotional abuse and that you have respect for yourself and you know your self-worth. However, I want you to remember as well to be aware of when you silencing the narcissist, it is not going to give you a magic solution. It should be used as a caution as it can lead to more aggression behavior from the narcissist. I want you to be aware of one thing, that narcissists may be dangerous, especially when their source of validation is gone and their control is taken away from them. They may find new ways to manipulate or hurt you, so you have to be cautious. It's also important to seek professional help if you feel unsafe. Another thing to note as well that silencing a narcissist is not a permanent solution. It is just a tool for self-protection to regain control back of your life and the relationship. 
but in the long run it is best to disengage yourself from the relationship if you are in the relationship with a narcissist and you are 100% sure that person with you is a narcissist as soon as possible. Also narcissists is very difficult to treat. Narcissism generally is very difficult to treat and I have not heard of any full recovery of being a narcissist so it is not something that you can cure. The best way to deal with a narcissist is to limit your contact with them as much as possible and to seek professional help if necessary. I have made an episode about grey rock, be sure to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. Overall, silence can be a powerful tool when you're dealing with a narcissist, but it is important to use it strategically and protect yourself at the same time. Remember to take care of yourself, seek help if you need it, and of course set boundaries, communicate with your own self, know your self-worth, and understand the limitation of this strategy and seek professional help and protection when necessary. So that's it for today's episode and as always, thank you very much for listening and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know have you ever experienced the silence on the narcissist or have you ever used grey rock method on the narcissist and share your experience here with us. I hope that you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Take care.